Hi traders, just one and a half minutes into the trading session. I'm watching Roku here, which started with an interesting gap down like 3% and then comes up now. So now it's down just 2%, already moved up. And you can see that uh, it's kind of stalling now. Uh, now forget about this topping tail that just didn't happen because probably some bad print or something. But what you're seeing here is a stock that started with a gap down, now moving up, I'm looking for a failure. Uh, the first failure sign I'm going to see, I'm going to short. Now that is of course if it's not going to move up too much and I think it's not going to because it's spending quite a long time here. And here's the third candle and now it's coming down and I'm about to short. That's a reversal I was looking for. Here we go. Now I missed it. Short it a bit lower than I wanted to. I wanted to short it under 112. I chased it down. It is a big mover. It's a very, very risky trade, but I really like the way Roku is moving. And look at that. It goes $1,000. I didn't get it where I should have. And I'll be very, very happy with quick partial $2,000 in profits. Any sign of a pullback? I'll take my partial. Well, came down just, just $1,000, just a bit over $1,000. I think it's moving up now. We're going to get a quick, a quick partial here took my partial now. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, risk reward did not really work out well here because um, I took an early partial here. I uh, just was a little bit concerned and FL, I just missed it. I just missed FL. I wanted to short it under $27 and I missed it. Actually, $26.80 was my target and it's moving up a bit. So maybe I'll join now. Okay, I'm joining now. I got it at $67, $26.67, uh, like 13 cents under my intended entry point now it's the same idea but this one is more likely to succeed because you see it's down nine percent and when the stock is down nine percent and it does exactly the same started with the gap down moved up reversed and again same idea shorting it on the reversal and hoping it's going to come down under the laws which it did not do yet mrna on the other hand looks very very strong this stock is up today and it's uptrending and you know everybody loves mRNA recently and uh, look at this beautiful technical formation here over 16980. Now Scott just posted this one over 70. I think I can buy it a little before that. Uh, technically speaking, I think if it moves over 16980, here we go now. I'm long. I got it at 6992. And it did cross 70. Good. And now we're going. And now we're going. My target is 70.40. So I'm looking for 50 cents or so. Oh my God. Look at FL just spiked out. I'm down like five grand. Oh, <laughs> well, it's killing me. You never move out on a spike. I don't care how much money you lose. You never move out on a spike because spikes are likely to be over real soon. Look at the topping tail we've got right now. If it's going to come down a bit, I'm going to move out. I'm down just $3,500, almost $3,000 now, under $3,000. Any sign of a pullback, any sign of a move back to the highs, I'm going to move out. If it moves like over three grand loss, I'm going to be moving out here. Now it did. I'm out. Well, it could have been worse. I was down around $5,000. It finished just over $3,000. And again, you do not move out on spikes. You just wait for it to cool down a bit. You don't wait until it comes back all the way down to the lows because it's not likely it's going to do that. And look at it moving up right now. So you, you have no expectation to turning this into a profitable green trade. You just wait for it to cool down a bit. That's the topping tail you're seeing here. And once it comes to a reasonable loss, you just move out. That's a very unpleasant loss, but I played it correctly. And again, don't move out on spikes and don't have hard stops. mRNA did great. Uh, it's not a huge winner. I'm waiting for it to move over 70, 40. Watch the buyers here moving up now, 35, 70, 35. Once it moves over 40, now it's over 40. I've got almost two grand. And I'm selling. Okay, um, you know, look at the chart now. Look at the chart of uh, mRNA. Uh, look at the way it is extended to the upside. I mean, it did well. It did very well. I'm glad I took my partial here. Uh, that was exactly my target, although it's moving up another <laughs> 10 or 15 cents now. But anyway, it's too extended to the upside. It's going to pull back, back down. You know, when you look at the chart and it seems to you like it's up way too much, 
that comes with experience, of course, you need to move out. And uh, here's my result till now. As you can see, one big loser in FL and uh, two winners, MRNA and Roku. So I'm down like $100 with my open trade and my close trade. So I'm starting great, just light in great. But look at Tesla now. Tesla, I was watching it and I'm about to short it. 2,000 shares real soon. And I'm short. Just clicked above a bit. Let's hope it's going to come down now. Okay, so I'm short Tesla. Uh, I was following Tesla for a while because the market's coming down. Look at the S&P 500. S&P started, uh, actually moved up a bit at the beginning, and then it's moving down quite a bit right now. And the way the S&P moves down, look at Tesla here. That's the way I'm following it, by the way. I'm following it by looking at a very small chart. And then if I see something that comes up, nicely i just go to the big chart and i trade it so i was following tesla and tesla now has pulled back up which had which it had no reason doing so but when the market came down again in my opinion tesla should continue moving now under the lows so i'm short hoping that uh, tesla is going to come down uh, the loss is 817 which is approximately my target i shorted it at 820 i'm looking for three points and if it's going to come down to 817 i'm going to take my partial uh, my stop loss is also three points so you can see my stop loss is right over here just over this uh, top here and that's a very clear technical stop loss if it's going to get there then i'll be out but if it's going to come down it needs to come down all the way to the lows actually i'm going to be happy if it's going to just touch the lows and then i'll take my partial so anyway the market's coming down so this should be helpful here comes tesla market continues lower and tesla is under the lows beautiful over my target just touched 817 i'm trying to get a bit more trying to get a bit more not sure i can good under 817 a first sign of a pullback just happened i'm out took 1800 shares covered 1800 shares left just 200 that was an amazing trade that put me back in solid green territory it was a nice trade in tesla Okay, now, so market did move down, but look at the S&P and the Nasdaq. Both of them are moving higher. T Nasdaq just touched the highs now. So we're very likely to continue higher. Look at what happened to Tesla. I'm already out of Tesla. My last 200 shares did not hold. So now that the market is moving higher, I should be looking for a long play because it's likely to continue. And I'm looking for a nice technical formation, just like SPLK. Look at the 174 mark here. I'm about to go long. Now I'm long, just at 174.02, bought 4,000 shares. Now, SPLK started with a gap up today. The stock is up 6%, more than 6%. It came down, it reversed. That's a beautiful technical formation for a long. That's a nice, that's a nice resistance point right over here. Now, I only need to sit over the highs and take my partial. Entry point 174, target two points, because that's my stop loss as well. If it would have moved down under 172, I would have been out right over here. That's a support level. So I need to see it over the highs. The highs is 174.70, and it's getting there. And not just over the highs, I need to see it to one and a half point over the highs. So just over 176 for a partial there. And but once it's going to go over the highs, probably going to spike because there will be a lot of people who will buy it over the highs. And we just moved over the highs. Good, great. One point over the highs, just touching 176 now, and over 176. And I've got to get my partial. Beautiful, amazing trade. Look at that 9,000, 10,000 dollars. Any sign of a pullback, any sign of pullback, I'm going to get my partial now. Well, it came down a bit i didn't really get the <laughs> ten thousand. i think i've got like six grand or so that's good enough uh and again you know people are buying stocks over the highs that's a big mistake they they're buying at over the breakout point you should be buying it at the point where you expect a breakout not at the point of the breakout where you expect a breakout and here's my result traders i'm having an amazing day just over ten thousand uh, dollars 25 minutes into the trading session uh, one loser in fl and four winners so i'm doing good i'm still open with some trades just so just 10 over ten thousand dollars and you know what you can do the same just join us by clicking over here and join us for a free 14-day trial in our trading room 
And I just asked my trading room members to let me know how they're doing. And we've got 65% in green, which is a good solid day. And uh, <laughs> Jake says, he's, says here he's got four trades, three green and one loser. He also said that he's only got one trade from the trading room, which is quite interesting because, you know, when he's got his own systems and Jake's been us with for four years, when he, when, when he has his own systems and he trades just one from the trading room, that means that three trades came from his own system, the one he developed. You can't just follow us and make money. It doesn't, it's not as simple as it sounds. You got to develop your own way of trading, your own trading systems. If you have your own trading systems and you just use the trading room to enhance your day. I mean, we talk about market direction. We talk about stocks we trade. And that just Jake just found one which suits his way of trading. That's the best way to do it because we all have our own systems. If you trade all of our trades, you're going to lose money because I've got my own systems. Uh, Scott has his own. You see Yogi here with his own trades and Danny. And, you know, each and every one of us supports a very special way of trading and is very professional in it. And if you try to do exactly like what we do, well, trading is hard enough without going after several different systems uh, with each and every analyst. You need to develop your own way of trading, your own trading systems. And if our room can help you with just one good trade a day, that's the big difference. Now, of course, it happens with Jake. He's been with us for four years. But if you're just starting out, then you probably need more trades coming out from the analyst in the room. And that's OK, as long as you understand that you need to develop your own system. And that's the way to make money in the market by having your own way of trading and using this room just as something that is on the side, helping you to trade helping you with the community here, which is, I believe is great. And again, you can join us here for a free 14 day trial. Uh, that will make us uh, very happy to be trading with you guys. So thank you very much for watching and um, enjoy the long weekend and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14 day trial. Traded has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.